then I might go to then the basic religious charity exemption. Do, does the ATO have any understanding about how much that is costing taxpayers annually? Um, so, Senator, because uh, the entities are yeah. exempt, we have not traditionally required them to uh, lodge tax returns specifying how much of an exemption they are claiming. Is there a, is there a limitation on the, the volume of money, the size of the charity, that can use the basic religious charity exemption for filing any documents, effectively? I don't think so. Uh, so, <laughs> from a tax perspective, no, Senator. I understand <coughs> there are some reforms that my colleagues from the ACNC might want to talk about. All right. And, and while you're doing that, perhaps address the, the very real concerns that have been raised about it by, I think, a former commissioner of the Sexual Abuse Royal Commission in the how the basic religious charity has been working. But, but there, there are potentially charities with billions of dollars of assets using the basic religious charity exemption and providing almost no documents, doc documentation to the ATO, no audited accounts, almost nothing. Is that right? That's correct. But that seems to me to be a, a, a fraught um, environment if literally billions of dollars can be channeled through the economy with almost no reporting to the ATO, that seems to me to be a, a very fraught environment, to say the least. Commissioner? Um, I'm not sure of the extent of reporting of financial results of yeah. r religious organisations to the ACNC, uh, which may provide a, a, a scope. From the ACNC, um, it is a very low doc environment. You might is it, isn't it? What, what are they required to file under the basic religious charity exemption? Basic religious charities are required to provide an annual information statement, as are um, all charities, but they do not have to answer the financial questions. 